Uh-oh, what the heck is this? Oh, something broke. Hey guys, I've been back in the garage here. So today I'm gonna go over a uh, quick maintenance item on my trunk gutters and then my little trunk panel back here. So the last couple times it's rained, I noticed that I've been getting a bunch of leaves and water pulling up right here in the gutter. And I figured something was clogged or there was a bunch of crap stuck in there. So I'm gonna go take care of that today and clean that out. And then I also noticed that my little flap thing on my trunk striker broke. So I'm gonna go take care of that with some uh, JB Weld and kind of glue it back together to see if that works. So stay tuned. So recently when I was working on this trunk, I noticed this little flap thing kind of broke on me and it looks like just over time the, the little clips that hook onto this little rod broke. I think the only way to really fix that is to replace that whole panel which I don't want to do. So today I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to try to rig it with some JB Weld and some MacGyver shit to see if I can fix that. While I'm in here I'm also going to go ahead and replace or not replace but take these off right here these little side panels they're only held on by 3M tape. And the reason why I'm taking it because over the years, probably the 13 years I've been driving this car, just stuff gets caked up in there, just tree branches, leaves, dirt, and all that crap. And it's just kind of filled that crap up so it's not draining. So I just end up with a bunch of crap here every time I wash the car. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that off. It's held on only by 3M tape. So I should be able to just peel that off, replace the 3M tape, and get it, um, get it back to... Uh, factory looking again and then let the so the water can drain through and That's some nasty stuff in there. I'm about to put on some gloves right now to clean all this out But it's just basically 13 years worth of leaves and junk that drains into this panel Even got some bugs over there crawling so I'm about to clean this all up uh, degrease it and then peel that old tape off so I can put the new 3m tape that piece came out pretty good. The hardest part was just trying to get that old tape. That tape is pretty good on there. And the rest of this tape down here is just kind of worn down. So that wasn't the issue, it was just the side pieces. Just getting all those. Be careful not to deform it too much. So I ended up put, popping out these side clips too. Uh, the only problem is I broke uh, some of these clips right here that hold it on right there. They look like a normal panel clip until I started inspecting it more. And it looks like what the, the, the trim side gets this little male piece. And then that other panel side gets this female piece that kind of nests in. But the way you look at, if you look at the thing, it looks like your normal panel where you slide it through, you know, horizontally in on this side basically just slides in uh, horizontally here. I've got a whole box full of different panel clips, so I'll see what I can find that will fit. But you gotta be careful with that piece. Should take out the tail light to do it, but I just kind of uh, flipped that, or I wedged that little piece past the tail light and I just kind of pulled it horizontally and it held on by a couple of pieces of 3M tape that didn't really do much. These clips are what really keep it in. The dirt and crap back here is not that bad, so you really don't need to take that side off and risk breaking the clips if you don't have to. It's really up here is where all the crap is. I use acetone and that brake parts cleaner to clean off all the old residue. So pretty much everything is cleaned up off of here on both sides. It's all about the prep work for the new tape. So I'll do the, I'll finish this up and then I'll get the other side. One little mishap I saw cleaning it up. I saw I broke the little clip on these VLAN. So I'm gonna take these tail lights off and just glue that back or JB weld that little clip back. It's not a critical clip. It just kind of clips into that piece of trim panel and keeps it in. So I'll take care of that. So I got this whole piece out, 
this part was the hard part, the tricky part. You have to actually take out those anchors on either side because that thing's tucked underneath. Those clips are pretty easy, those three clips. And then the ones on the bottom are the, these panel clips, which also pop off pretty easily. So it looks like what happened here was it's supposed to have that little thing over here just like that, but it broke off on this side. So I'm gonna have to go find something. I think I've seen one of my kids have like a bead that I can use to rig something on with some JB Weld and see if I, I, it can hold. So we'll go try that now. So I found it, these uh, Peller beads. That's what my kids play with all the time. So I found some of these uh, and uh, I've, I've been eyeing it because it looked like it fit and lo and behold, it does fit. So yeah, I, I tested it right there and it fits right on the edge. So I'm about to take this whole thing apart and try to fit that in there and figure out a way to Put it in and just JB weld it. So I let this baby dry overnight. So the JB weld I put on here is kind of clumpy and ghetto looking, but pretty much. This is gonna be hidden inside the panel when it's actually working and no one will ever notice. So what I did was the side that was broken, I added that little bead and then I also added on the side that wasn't broken just to reinforce that side in case that one breaks in the future. So this one should hold up pretty well for the next however long I have this car. I mean, it held up for 13 years already and it broke recently. I just kind of been leaving it down there because I don't really open my trunk much. But I'm gonna put it all back together and get this thing back on the car. So I got it in there. I had to find all the holes where that spring kind of clips into it. And then I just stuck that thing through. One unintended consequence of adding that little extra spacer thing was that now the spring doesn't have enough clearance and it's kind of putting a lot of pressure. So it's pushing that, uh, it's pushing that flap all the way to that one side, to the right side of the screen. And so what I'm gonna have to do is put some of those spacers back on the other side to relieve the pressure and then keep that flap in the center so it doesn't push all the way over due to the spring. So that should fix it. Oh yeah, MacGyver at work. I got it in there. So I've got, I had to use two of those little spacers, but basically moved that thing to the center. Now that spring is under really high pressure and high tension. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but hopefully it lasts and I'll see how it, it holds up. Right now that tab right here is it's got some pressure on it and it's pushing it that way there is a little bit of reinforcement on it but i don't know how long that's going to last but oh well at least uh, it works Man, I was struggling to get that tape off and then I realized this brake cleaner is some good stuff, man. I just uh, sprayed it on there. You spray it lightly because this stuff's um, high pressure. So it comes out really fast and it evaporates really fast. So I just kind of drizzled it slowly. I like, barely tapped the cap and I let it soak in for a couple minutes. And once I soak, once that soaked in, that 3M tape just basically melts into a bunch of little crumbs. So, and then you just wipe it off with a paper towel and it's pretty good. Uh, it evaporates really fast, so you gotta kinda recoat it every once in a while, but I pretty much got everything cleaned up nicely. Now I'm gonna wipe it down with some grease and wax cleaner and put some 3M tape on it and then put it back on the car. So earlier when I broke these clips for that side mount thing, I looked it up and freaking this panel right here comes with those clips. They don't even sell these things separately, but even if they did, I wouldn't even bother ordering them because uh, it wouldn't be worth the shipping just to try to get two or three of these. Uh, it's an oddball clip. It's basically like this thing fits on this side and it snaps into there and there's like a ball joint that goes inside here, right? And a couple of them, they, got, they just got brittle and broke, two of them. So I only got two good working ones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna MacGyver some shit right now. 
I have some of these that are the engine clips that keep on breaking and I, I replace them so the centers are still there. They were in my bag of clips that I have here. Just keep all my various clips in here. And I have this other clip, which is like the, drunk, uh, the trunk panel clips. I have a bunch of these laying around because this is a common clip. So either one of those, I'm gonna try MacGyver using that whatever's left of this side and see if it works. MacGyver strikes again. So what I ended up doing was I had to clip the, the, the end of this off of it right there to get the little stem that was stuck inside. And I used that, that panel clip, the center of the male side of that panel clip, and it fits perfectly into there and it actually holds in there. And then now it goes right into there and it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna have one original clip that has a ball joint that clips in and I'm gonna have this other one and I'll show you on the car in a sec. So over here, so what I'm gonna have to do is basically put this into the hole, right? Uh, just the backs, the white side of it and then the black side I'm gonna have to put on the panel. And then when I go into there, it just snaps right in and the top's gonna be doing most of the work. The bottom is just, as a guide so it doesn't pop out. Basically gonna be a guide for the for the clip to stay in, so that should work fine. Most of it's gonna be held on by the 3M tape up here and then a couple pieces down here anyways. When you put that uh, weather stripping in the back, you gotta make sure you tuck it underneath the plastics and uh, underneath the bumper. And when you put it in, you just kind of tilt it a little bit and it just wedges right into there pretty easily. So plastic goes over the rubber. So you just tuck the plastic underneath. So I just gotta get that lower panel back together and we're done with this mod or this fix really maintenance. Got everything reassembled, panel went back in. This thing works good now. Back to normal operations. All the side panels are all glued down, taped down. Everything's holding pretty tightly. Uh, gasket's all put back in. Remember, this gasket right here tucks under, under this panel and then under into the bumper. So you gotta do that properly or else the trunk won't close. So thanks for tuning in all the way to the end of this episode, guys. I hope you found this uh, video informative and you got something out of it. If you did, consider subscribing to your channel, liking the video, leave a comment down below if, uh, if you have the same problem on your car. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time on the next car video. Thanks.